Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Avenger quick tip. Today we're going to learn the basic routing for the LFO. The LFO is down here in the lower right hand corner, LFO1. You can have up to four LFOs. The LFO routing is a little bit different than the OSC routing in that here I can route the any oscillator to the arpeggio by turning it on. But the LFO is different in that you have to click and drag the tab and as you can see as I'm holding down there's a line and I can apply this to any parameter that is a knob or a slider as you can see here and I'm going to apply it to the amp volume just so we can get a better understanding of what's going on as soon as I click and drag nothing has happened there's no F LFO being applied and that's because the amount applied is going to be adjusted by this little triangle up here so if I click that triangle and drag up you can see that there is an automation amount being applied to the right and if I drag down it's applied to the left so if I let go now and play the sound we've got the LFO shape being applied if we want to change the shape we just click inside of the shape and choose whatever we want your typical phase offset amounts here the rate knob and there's the sync we have three different sync options this knob is actually for syncing to triplets so that will be useful for your dubstep and your EDM and things like that but that's the essentials for LFO routing in the next tutorial we're going to learn about triggering the LFO using the step sequencer and the arpeggiator we'll see you next time